Hi guys, Mary once again. Got to make a quick video. Um, you know, for those of you who have watched my last few videos and maybe some before then, you know, some there's some some certain things that aggravate me real bad, and that's uh, liars. And nothing you can do about that because. The world is full of liars, and I think there are more liars than people who don't tell the truth. And I remember one time, I was about to be a big liar when I was a kid. I, I had got with my sister. I don't know how old we were. We were young, very young, but... We lived in a project, and, you know, everybody was, you know, poor. Some of us were poorer than others, even in the projects. But that was a sweet girl that lived in the same block we did. Just a housing unit. I think it may have been about six families. Maybe something like that. I can't think. Six or seven. Yeah, six. But anyway... My sister and I just, just you know, gravitated to this older girl. She was so sweet because she would teach my sister and I different things. And it was just fun playing with her. But she had a lot of younger brothers and sisters, so she had to help out a lot. But I don't know. I And, and to me... Her family was better off than we were because there were times we didn't have food. And they always had food, be it beans, uh, fried uh, mackerel, cornbread, whatever. And at times we didn't have that. And I was saying, oh, I wish we just had food like they did. So, I don't know. I, I told my sister, I said, let's tell her, the girl, I ain't going to say her name, but she's sweet, man. I say, let's tell her this story about our cousin, and maybe she'll believe that we got a cousin in our family that's real rich. And my sister, she go, uh, uh huh. And she's old than I am, but you know, whatever I said, she would do it, you know, most likely. She may have followed through, but she would start with it. So we decided to tell our little friend that we had a rich cousin that was coming into town and they came over last night. And our friend said, well, I, I didn't see nobody can't come last night, Mary. And I said, well, y'all was sleeping. She came and she said, okay. And every night I think of something we're going to tell her. So I concocted this idea that I'm going to tell her that we got a million dollars. And I did some planning on this because I, I know she's going to wonder, if we got a million dollars, why are we still in the projects? I see if she adds. I thought I had all the little, the I's dotted and the T's crossed. So I, we told her the, next, the story the next day. She did ask, how, when y'all going to move and this and that. And I would, I would say that we gonna move pretty soon. And, and then the next week we didn't move. And I say, I said, my mama don't want us to tell nobody, but we telling you. And I, I don't know, I don't see how she could believe it, but we ran into her uh, years later. I mean, we grown people, and she said she remembered that, and she said, Mary, I believed y'all. And she said, but mama told me that that ain't true. She said, we got a million dollars under our mattress, don't we? And she said, she said, mama, no. She said, well, Mary and them ain't got no money under. They, they ain't got no money. I don't know why Mary telling y'all that. But she, uh, this the friend, she never let on when we were kids that she knew we were lying. But the only reason I stopped making up these stories is we went down to, as they say in the South, we went down home one summer. 
and had to stay with the people in the country. I hated they made us do that. It's like it's hot down here, mosquitoes and the whales and all that. Well, hey, that was the worst vacation we had. It seemed like it was long, but it wasn't no more than three weeks. Ooh, son, it just called them snoring. But, uh, uh, and one of my cousins told a lie. And I didn't, I mean, I knew he told a lie, but I wasn't, I didn't think it was that, What you know, you get a whooping and you stop. Man, my grandmother, they had some old, uh, these old rusted clothes pins on the line with the hard round clamps. Ooh, she grabbed this girl. She said, open your mouth. She opened her mouth and she kind of half opened it. And my grandmother grabbed her cheeks like this and made her keep the mouth open. And she took her fingers pull that girl's tongue out and put this clothespin on it and drug her through the house. She said, if you lie again, I'm going to cut your tongue out. And that scared me. I said, I will never lie like this again. And that broke me. It's not that I was thinking my grandmother was going to do Well, She probably she knew I was lying. She was going to do that because her name was Mary. She was going to do that. So, But that stopped me from telling those lies. And I was thinking, wouldn't the world be a better place? Can you think of how good it would be if people didn't lie? If it would be like, how people don't want to walk around with bad breath or stinky and musty armpits and we felt that way about lying don't you hey it would be so nice people wouldn't be getting cheated out of stuff donald trump would tell the truth i mean it was just i mean we all would probably I know we'd all have a little more money because the banks wouldn't be charging us and cheating us. And Oh, man. And your husbands and boyfriends, they wouldn't lie. Oh, I think about my ex. Oh, he was a liar and a half. And he would tell lies and everybody knew he was lying because he'd be laughing and he'd hit you real hard and want you to laugh. And I said, that ain't funny. Everybody know you lying. But then when it came down to him and another woman, uh, he would always tell that lie. And he would say, Mary, if you don't want me to lie, quit asking me questions. And you know when my paycheck come up short because you know how much money I make. So I had something else to do with the money and just don't ask me. So I stopped asking him questions. But I told him that day, I said, don't you ask me nothing either about my money, uh, where I been, or nothing. So he looked at me and I said, because I don't want to lie to you. And we did this for, I, we were married 27 years, so I know I did this uh, 15 years of my marriage. And he didn't dare ask me nothing. He could see me with a man. He knew not to, uh, don't ask me nothing. I'd pull off a big job. I'd get uh, $10,000 in my bank account. But your name ain't on my bank account. So don't ask me so, for no money. Don't do nothing. So that was my way of standing up to him about his lies. I didn't lie. I just say, don't ask me. And they would always say, ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lie. <laughs> but it would be, you know, just a beautiful thing if, if we all had the truth in us. And, you know, uh, what the, the Bible says something about we were born in sin and shaping in iniquity. And I went to the doctor, they had to get a procedure done, but 
we were on the elevator day and they had the glass elevators so you could see the mechanisms going up and down. And this little boy, he couldn't have been no more than about, i say, five years old. You would think he was in Disney land on a ride because he just, it tickled him so to see these mechanisms going up and down. But I said to say, this, this baby was pure. He wasn't a sinner. He wasn't a liar. I don't, I mean, in that instance, he might have learned how to tell lies when he was little. I mean, uh, not when he was little, when he was asked about a question, he might have learned that behavior already. But met another little boy in the doctor's office. He looked to be seven years old. I asked the little boy, I said, how old are you? Because he was just so much energy. He said, I'm four. And he talked like a little four-year-old, jumping and, and just, you know, fidgety like a four-year-old. And I said to myself, he got to be special because he got a seven-year-old body. So I said, maybe he, you know, kind of got a little problem. But he insisted to me that he was seven. And he said, what's your name? And he asked my friend, what was his name? And then he said, I forgot. What's your name? What's your name? And he would keep forgetting. And then I told him, I said, I'm going to ask your grandmother what, how old are you. I said, what's your birthday? And he told me his birthday. And I started looking in his mouth, and he had these little bitty teeth. I said, dang, he really is about four years old with these little teeth. I said, I can't figure out how he's so tall. So his grandmother got through uh, filling out the form for the doctor. And... I asked her how old was he, and she said he's only four. But his mother and father are very tall people. I said, oh. She said people ask us that everywhere we go because he acts like a four-year-old and a seven-year-old body. But these little boys were just so beautiful with their energy and no sin. But it's, it's sad how... The Christian religion, a lot of in, uh, religions tell religions tell us that we are sinners and shaping in iniquity. So, and nothing we could do because all our righteousness are as filthy rags before God. So, this God, we will never be accepted in this God's eyesight. So. Maybe that's why people give up on telling the truth because there's no reward in it anyway. Because ain't none of us going to heaven. It's uh, uh, by the uh, luck and a draw that anybody makes it. So why try to be good? Just get what you can while you're here. And I can understand that rationale from a lot of people, but I don't know if we would try to um, kind of get religion out of it and maybe go with the karma law, the karmic law, and um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That would be a nice way to be. But I was just thinking about that, just, you know, a thought. I might start making videos on my thoughts as long as they're good thoughts and thoughts that uh, are informative to give you some information. But uh, think about how nice it would be if we didn't lie. Or shall I say, if we didn't have to lie. Because a lot of us think we have to lie. And I don't know if you have to, if there's a circumstance where you have to lie, I don't know. And I can't say that I wouldn't lie, but you know, I did a past life regression and I was killed for, uh, I was stoned for me telling my truth. So if, if you know, if you believe in uh, reincarnation and past life regression, I did die for my truth. And like the great Martin Luther King said, I almost said Coon, what was that? King said, you know, if you can't find anything to 
uh, stand for, you'll fall for anything. So, and you know, the truth is something as noble to stand up for. And if nobody stands with you on the truth, you know, you can stand alone because I stand alone in my truth. And it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I don't take sides with fights that people have. It may look like I, I do, but I don't. I only want some more witnesses to testify on the subject. But when you get a low and dirty and just, you know, information, it'd be like a if we were having a trial and and the lawyers say um, object, well, I I object to just getting low, low, low below the belt. And some people have really gotten low, and we don't have to do that for the truth. We don't have to do that for a lie, because the truth stands alone. But anyway. <laughs> feeling better than I was feeling when I left the doctor's office. They said I was going to be feeling bad for probably uh, till next week because this is a, was a pretty rough injection I had. So I had to sleep with these ice, bag, ice packs and things until the pain stops. But I'm good. I'm hanging in there, hanging on the truth. But, uh, you know, you tell the truth one time you're gonna have to tell it again and and you know when people are angry oh they get angry for you uh, rather than uh, i don't know they get more angry for you calling them a bitch rather than you calling them a lie a liar would do that i mean some people say, she called me a bitch and a this and that. And, and then you call them a liar. They don't want to fight that issue because they are a liar. And I, I guess they think uh, people will stand with them. Uh, they team will stand with them about being called a bitch. But, you know, a bitch, we all been called bitches and things and but liar, you know what I mean? You got to really have your your ducks in a row. And if you if you don't have your words and your story right, everybody know you're a liar. Boy, but some people weren't punished en enough for that. They didn't get the clothes pin on their mouth. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's enough. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bye.